Good evening everyone, welcome to race 2 and welcome back to race 2 of the Renault Megane Trophy sponsored by Power Max Racing here with Next Gen. What an absolutely fabulous race 1 we've just had, lots of action in the fight for second place, 8 cars all involved, different points of contention but in the end despite all the fighting for second only one man drove off into the distance which was D Hartley 79 in that Fuchs car puts himself currently in the championship lead by a fair margin now he'll have a 13 point gap going into race two I believe over next gen dominator absolutely brilliant so we're a few moments away from starting in race two the drivers have had themselves a little bit of a a little bit of a breather and um, Chuck 12 out on circuit along with Shadowstalker DBS as well. They're just getting a little bit of practice in. Just having a quick read through the comments in the McGann post race love you on chat and everyone agreeing it was absolutely superb for them to be involved in. There was so much fighting um, between the, the drivers which was spectacular to watch. Brilliant to commentate, commentate on. But Dominator 3 didn't have the best of races in the end. It didn't go quite to plan for him. Uh, the, the the championship leader heading in to the round, and unfortunately, it just went wrong for him. He spun off and ended up finishing down in 11th place, only scoring six points as opposed to D Hartley's 21. So he's got a bit of work to do in this reverse grid race. Uh, Mehanesta just put in a quick comment and said when his M3 comes getting back you will see them over the next couple of days so give me a bit of time and I'll go back through the brilliant Four Dices BMW M3 League, the E30s great cars, great championships so you'll see me commentating on those over the coming week but in the meantime back on the focus with these McGann cars and Shadowstalker he drove very well actually uh, during that race set in 1 minute 35s some people have said to me Jack do you have a, do you have a particular liking for Shadowstalker you seem to mention him quite a lot and there is a reason for that um, for those that don't know those that are new to next gen or have been watching these streams or might even know Shadowstalker to an extent lovely fella um, is the prime example of how you can improve as a driver at next gen I say it quite frequently and it's always important to mention the progress he has made from being lapped several times way back in the early seasons to now being right on the pace and he's got a, a good opportunity for a, a top 10 result again here in this second race but let's see how he gets on but we are at the time to start the race so I'll just put a quick comment in to tell everyone race to starting now I'll put shortly just so everyone has got themselves entered we don't want a, a situation from a few weeks back which everyone has entered in so we'll get cracking with the race start there we go so race starting now everyone's aware of the final it's going to be good to see how the driver's getting on it'll be greener army 2009 on pole position for the second race tonight don't forget 15 minute sprint reverse grid race from the previous results at Interlagos so there's Greener Army on the left hand side in that green and white sponsored dread car then it's Gino Demmer on the front row in only a second McGann race Chalk 12 is third but Dominator 3 needs to fight back he's on the second row 15 minutes on the right hand side here come the numbers Race 2 is live from Interlagos. Great start from Greener Army and a good one from Dominator 3. He's going to be right in the thick of it as they come towards Turn 1. Greener Army leads. Dominator, though, has a good start and Chalk 12 has gone off the circuit at Turn 1. He's scared himself off the road. So Dominator up to second. He's got a great chance to get ahead. He's fighting with Gino Demmer, who's giving it all. And Big Badass has had a great start. He's up to third. So... Big Madaz has managed to take advantage of the little bit of chaos and he's alongside Dominator but Dominator has the slipstream off the back of Gino Demmer heading towards Decida Delago and how late on the brakes was next gen Dominator it was absolutely superb Greener Army finding himself in the same colour Astro turf as the name of his PSN but he still leads somehow Big Madaz in 1805 and sideways there's a bit of contact in the midfield Jeez it's 
three wide going into turn five, but they just about get themselves sorted out. Mother of mercy, that would have been a father and a mother of a shunt, that would have been. But it's Next Gen Dominator who leads. Green Army getting shuffled down the order now. Gino Demmer in second. His almost veritable teammate of Silver Fox 40 is behind him third. Haas, great start, up to fourth. Green Army now starts to fall down the field. 1805 is in sixth. Big Mad has seventh. Big Z in eighth place. Then there's Duds in ninth. But there's so many cars all occupying the same space of track, it's very difficult to keep on top of. And my voice has gone into a different echelon of time. Nevertheless, though, Everyone facing the right way. A lot of bumping and shuffling. Oh, Greener Army's gone flying off into the grass. Big Z sideways. My goodness. Just about kept the car in a straight line. Wow, the amount of action in this lap. Look at the cars. It's four wide coming towards the start of the second lap. Goodness me. What a frenetic, frenetic opening lap. It's Dominator who leads the way. Somehow, despite everything. But Danzo is in... 7th place but he's going around the outside of Silver Fox 40 and up to 6 he goes a little bit of phasing helped Danzo just slip between the front axle of that McGann there's Big Z in 8th and Duds in ninth. these two renewing their rivalry from race 1 D Hartley in 10th he hasn't been able to make as much progress as he would have hoped but there's still 12 minutes in this session to go so keep watching for him through this race Haas is up to 3rd Kaiser 2 Haas on a very good run so far I forget Haas finished fourth in the first race. Would have started in P11. So really good effort from him to get himself up to third. He's fighting with 18.05 once again. It's Chalk 12 and 11th. Chalk 12, he was started third, but scared himself off the circuit at turn one. He's going to get a place back from Big Z, who seems to get a little bit sideways going into what is known as Faradora. There's Duskyver poking his nose, and Shadow Stalker down to 13th. So not the best of laps for Shadow Stalker so far, but he's right there. A lot of time still to go. Greener Army, despite going off into the AstroTurf and the grass, is within two seconds of the field at the moment. But Dominator leads, and he needs this for his championship fight. He leads the way at the moment. He's got a 1.8 gap to Gino Demmer, who is doing exceptionally well in his first round meeting. It's only his second race in the McGann's this season in any case he did take part last season in a couple of events but he's got a baying pack of Hassan 1805 and Big Mad has chasing after him and then Danzo and Silver Fox 4 they are side by side going into turn 1 through the centre S oh Danzo was a little bit clumsy just backed out of it did Danzo rightfully so D Hartley's got himself up to 8 he's going to take 7th surely thanks to that little error from Danzo he's on the inside now but Danzo's going to have the slipstream of the sales eye car in front of him. D. Hartley can't make that move yet. So he keeps that eighth place. Danzo sideways coming out of turn five. R lovely racecraft from Hartley to try and go around the outside. He's going to be there. He's going to be in the discussion for turn six if he can go up the inside of Ferradora. Danzo gives him the room. But I think Danzo will shut the door in front of him. He does. Not quite. Now he does indeed gets the car settled. Silver Fox is going a bit deep, but he's running in the top six. Good news for him. Big Z is absolutely sideways. Every time I've gone cut to his car, he has been about 40 degrees away from the corner he should have been at. And there's Duds going into the gravel trap through turn number 10. Not the ideal racing line. He's trying to fight off Chalk 12 and Shadow Stalker. He's got a penalty for that, despite losing time. Penalties around here in GT Sport. A little bit confusing, I have to say. Danzo sideways again. He's got a lot of rear brake bias on that car, as Danzo absolutely has. But he's all over the back of Silver Fox 40. Bit of lag there. Bit of an odd one. And here comes D. Hartley then. He's going to take advantage of that little bump. But he's on the outside line. A little bit of lag going on. They're both approaching the back of Silver Fox 40's car. Is Danzo going to try and make a move up to the inside? He does, and he slots himself into sixth place. And D. Hartley, is he going to get past 40? They're, oh, they're not giving each other enough room there, but Hartley squeezes through anyway and takes that position and makes it his own. Back at the front, Gino Demmer's lost a little bit of ground. He was running second, but he's down in fourth now. But any points that he gets, if he finishes inside the top 10, that'd be a very good achievement. D. Hartley has been re overtaken by Silver Fox 40. So, championship leader. We'll still be leading the championship if things stay as they are. But the gap will be looking more like three points instead of the 14 he has going into this race. 
Big Z and Duskyver, there they are in 9th and 10th. Chalk is 11th. Duds has now retaken that position. A lot of action all over the Interlagos circuit at the moment. It's very, very tricky to keep on top of. One man not seeing any action at the moment. Dominator 3, 4 seconds clear. He needs this as great as he can. He's got to just keep his efforts up. He's still got 8 minutes 50 left in this race. Haas has got about 6 tenths to Big Madaz who got through the chaotic start and he's running in third so let's see how he keeps going Gino Demers in fourth, 1805's in fifth seems to have been a little change somewhere because Hartley's in seventh now he's got past Big Z, I think someone's gone round but 1805 is on the inside as they approach turn one move, signed, sealed and delivered from the steel seal car he's up into fourth then Gino Demers fifth, Hartley sixth 47th Big Z 8th, Duskyver, not made any progress this race, despite getting pole in race 1. Duds 10th, there's Chalk, it's Danzo who's gone backwards, I knew there was a car who had gone off somewhere. Danzo doesn't look like he's going to repeat his podium from race 1, he's down in 12th, fighting with Shadowstalker. Well, Shadowstalker looked to have a little move going into turn number 4, he does! Through he goes, he's run a bit deep and Danzo's just going to take that place back. All comes down to momentum, and Danzo is the one that got the momentum out of turn four. So, quick switch around for those two drivers. In the fight for second place, Haas now is the man who's become the defensive, the defensive blockade in the road. And 1805 trying to make a move at the inside of Big Madaz. Maybe almost a bit of tactics going on there. A little bit of contact coming out of turn number 11 through Biko de Pato. 1805 is putting Big Madaz under pressure. He wants to get that podium that he missed out on in race one. Would have been deserved for 1805, but he couldn't seal it in the end. But his run through Junkau was quite poor, and Big Madaz taking advantage of Keiser 2 Haas's poor run out of the corner. What can he do? Haas defends heavily to the inside. No room for him there for Big Madaz on the inside. He's going to try and go around the outside. Try and take him potentially through the center S if he can set it up through here. He can't. Hass gets a great run out of turn two. And Hass, in fact, drives away. He gained three tenths in that sequence alone. So great acceleration off the corner for Hass. Lovely line through there. Keeps him nice and away from the cars in front. 1805. Just watching them at the moment. But sideways coming through turn four. Not ideal for him. Hartley, the race one winner, he's up to fifth. Silver Fox 4D and Duskyver and Big Z and Duds are all together along with Chalk and Danzo. So we've got six cars fighting over what looks to be sixth place. Absolutely chaotic between everyone at the moment. It's been a great race this one. Race two has been really frenetic. Oh, bit of contact. Silver Fox hits the back of Duskyver. Big Z trying to take advantage of that by going around the outside. They're side by side still. Duskyver's going to have a good run, but Big Z's going to have the inside line, is he? No, he has to break a little bit later. There's two other cars with him, so he's got to share the tarmac. They both about get away with it, the other two cars. Big Z, he uh, does just about seal that seventh place back. Duds putting every single move he can to try and get some momentum back in a potential championship fight which he's still a part of but he's going to have to make a couple of few choice moves now Danzo's ninth, Chalk 12 is 10th but he's got Shadowstalker on the inside of him coming into turn 1 but Chalk's going to have that slipstream nothing he can do and Silver Fox 40 will probably tag into that too so here he goes around the outside breaks a little bit later but he's slammed into the back of Danzo it's clumsy from Silver Fox he tries to overtake Danzo too Bit of a clumsy one from Silver Fox, he needs to avoid that. Couple of little taps here and there. It could be brushed up, of course. Back in the fight for second, although the action is incredibly tense everywhere else. Half a second separating Haas and Big Mad has. 1805, he's still running in fourth, but he's lost a touch of time now. Hartley doesn't look like he's going to be making any big gains. Haas got fastest laps so far. Must be noted, Danzo did seal the fastest lap point from the race one event, which was his first ever fastest lap point, so well done to Danzo. But the Skyver heading this field of, well, 
I would say field, I'd more say a train of effectively seven drivers. We ride on board of Shadowstalker. Oh, and Shadowstalker's round. Just as we were about to ride on board with him, off he went at Pinarino. And that is the end of his fight for a top 10 challenge. Greener Army running around in 14th place at the moment. 138-1, so within four seconds. 3.7 of the, the leader, Dominator 3, or rather KZ2 Hacks, the fastest lap. So that's a big improvement from his qualifying efforts. But Danzo, 10th place, he's just lost a bit of ground to the car in front of him. There's Big Z now, he's going to look to move to the inside. Defending from Duds. Big Z, nice defensive play there. Just stop Duds from turning in when he wanted to. Trying to do a switch back. He covered that off well. But Duds got a very, very good run. Coming out of turn two. He's going to be in the slipstream. You can see, you probably see the underside of that spoiler is that close. Gives Big Z a little bit of a bump going down the straight. A little bit of a nudge, but nothing doing. All fair in that fight so far. Three minutes to go for the drivers. Any moves they've got to make, they're going to have to try and do them as soon as possible. The time is ticking down. And Duds just keeps himself behind Big Z for the time being. Skyver still in sixth. D Hartley in fifth place. Haas has been overtaken by Big Madaz. So Big Madaz got the move into second place. It's brought 1805 back into that podium fight. Big Madaz would be very pleased to get a podium in race two. Would make up for a bit of a uneventful race one, despite that little incident he had. Haas looking to get a podium, but 1805 will be desperate to try and get onto the back of these two cars. Haas right in that slipstream as they come towards turn one. Haas, here he goes on the inside. He's managed to... Switch Big Madaz and he gets the car up the inside, breaks a little later and into second place. He reclaims it. Big Madaz not as strong coming out of the centre S. Nor was 1805 so he couldn't take as much advantage but look at that fastest lap. Goes the way of 1805 now, 34.4. Only half a tenth quicker than Haas but that makes all the difference for the bonus point. It's Hartley still in fifth. He's untroubled. Might only be losing a few points. Will D Hartley He'll probably only lose nine points? So his gap in the championship standings, he'll lead. Going into the mid-season break by five points if things stay as they are. Dud's still fighting with Big Z. These two have been stuck together for both races. Chalk is ninth. Danzo is tenth after his whatever happened to him earlier. He went off somewhere. There's Silver Fox and Gino Dammer running around 11th and 12th, and there's Shadowstalker and Greener Army in the penultimate and last places, respectively. There's Dominator. He's got one minute to go. He'll get one more lap. 5.3 clear of the battling Hass and Big Madaz, but he's not got the line right for Jung Kao has Hass and Big Madaz in the perfect place for Slipstream. But look at 1805. He wants a podium. He probably wants second place as well. He wants to take every position he can. But he's going to have to be shrewd here with his moves. Because Big Madaz will no doubt try and make a move around the outside. Going towards turn one. They go around the outside as Big Madaz. But he slots in. Oh, he's done very well. He's got his car up the inside of, eight, of Haas. He's through. Can 1805 do the same thing? He can. And from second to fourth goes Haas. Great move from Big Madaz. He played it brilliantly. 18.05 goes through too, but Haas just couldn't shut the door in time. Big Madaz was there, up to second he goes. Haas breaks a little bit later. Holds the car well, but he can't get past 18.05. 18.05 putting up the resolute defence on this final lap, which we have ticked on to. Haas trying to go on the inside. That was very late from 18.05, I have to say. But 1805 wants that podium. He wants to make up for race one. Big Madaz just backing 1805 into Haas. Haas has got a penalty he needs to try and clear. It's going to be difficult for him. Oh, Big Z sideways going into turn number seven, eight and there. I'm not sure what happened for him. Very sideways. A bit peculiar. 
But this fight at the front is going to continue to rage on. 1805 breaks a little bit later into the final corner at Junkow. Is he going to be close enough? It's going to be very close. But we're going to cut back because Next Gen Dominator 3 bounces back from race one to win race two in Interlagos. It's a good recovery for him. He needed that one. Into the season break he goes with a win. Big Madaz is just about going to hold on for second place. A brilliant result for him. 1805 gets a well-deserved third. Haas unfortunate in fourth, but a good race for him and a good haul of points. Fifth for Hartley. Good recovery from him from last. Duskyver is sixth. Danzo's going to take seventh. Duds is eighth. Bigsy ninth. Chalk 12 is in tenth. Silver Fox 40 will come home in 11th from Gino Demma and Shadow Stalker who spun around at Pinarino is 13th of Greener Army. I haven't already seen the checkered flag but it's Next Gen Dominator 3 who wins race 2. He bounces back in the championship fight. Great result for him. He needed that and that is going to make the second half of the season a very enticing prospect for a big heated rivalry between Next Gen Dominator and D Hartley 79. Duds isn't too far away, but he's going to have a lot of soul searching to do over that season break now to try and get his momentum back in this championship, if he can do. But a great result for him. Well done to Big Mad as he deserved that podium after his good racing in race one that ended up not being as good as it what it should have been. And 1805 getting a podium as well, so he'll be pleased too. Three drivers in both races, three different sets of drivers on the podium, so six different top three results for tonight, which is really good. Good to see. It shows you just how competitive Lobby 2 is in this championship. It's absolutely unbelievable. Anyone could win a race here any one of these drivers you're looking at 10 11 who could potentially take a race win certainly most of the drivers can get a podium as well now that's how close this league is very intense but nevertheless we like i said before we are going into our season break we've got a week off for the drivers so the mcgans won't be back until the 29th of April when they'll be going to round six at Kyoto Yamagiwa, a circuit we've visited in the past. It's been very good for battles. It's been very much settled early on in the terms of the race victory, but we've seen a lot of big fights around that circuit. And I'm fairly certain season 20 will prove to be no different when we visit that round on the 29th of April. In terms of the rest of the championship, we will be back um, after the season break. So all events will be commencing from the 26th of April in that respect, which will be starting with the BMW M3 E30 League, which I mentioned briefly earlier on when replying to Mehanesta's comment. But you'll be able to tune in to all the different social media channels to find out a little bit more information on that with next gen you can go onto facebook twitter instagram discord and our own website as well do make sure you do check next gen racing out on anywhere whichever search engine you use but that is it for the first half of season 20 drivers can have a little bit of a rest and a little bit of soul searching over that time get a bit of practice in for the upcoming five circuits that are remaining in this season but for the time being, I've been Jack TM53, commentator at Lobby 2, and wherever you might be in the big wide world, have a good one, and see you soon.